Hi everyone, my name is Lori and I'm going to do an unboxing of the Heaven and Earth Tarot by Jack Sifferoth and Jamie Alford. This is a beautiful deck. I picked this up at Books A Million. I have not ever been in one of those before. I used to go to Barnes & Noble, but I found this there and I am so excited to check this out. So let's go ahead and get into this, open it up, see what's inside, what it looks like. I'm excited. The artwork on the back is beautiful. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. Nice box. I still remember my first experience trying to open one of these boxes. Had never seen anything like it. <laughs> it dumbfounded me. Beautiful, beautiful, nice size book here. I love the font that they chose for everything. Oh, there's a lot of information with each of the cards too. Oh, even a key uh, keyword car, uh, breakdown, cool. Of course, that's great if you're new, once you've uh, been doing this for a while that you should know those, but that's nice for anyone who's new to have that available to them, that keyword this this year so you have a quick reference to each of the um, meanings oh I love the world card beautiful this artwork is stunning oh my goodness just look at this I'm not even sure when this came out I don't know let's see if it's printed in the front of the book so this is a 2021, February 2021 is when it first printed. And it is a Los Scarborough uh, tarot. There's their address there. I probably have an affiliates link on my um, YouTube channel or my website. Let's go ahead and open the deck, see what we've got going on here. <clears throat> they are slippery. Oh, those are stuck together. Oh, they came apart really easily, so that's good. Oh, they're all kind of chunked up like that, aren't they? Do you see how they're kind of chunked up? The glue is, um, or from cutting, it's usually just from the cutting from the guillotine when they cut the cards. Hmm. <clears throat> I'll have to take time and go through each card, but these are stunning artwork. The back is very plain, but this, I mean, this is just beautiful. Yeah, I, I like this. I'm excited to be using this. Oh, look at the uh, the lover's card there. The two of cups, actually. Oh, okay, I see. Abundance, love, blended pleasures, four of cups, five of cups, loss of pleasure. Oh, so it has different meanings. I like that. I, I do like that. Not that I need those hints there, um, but I do like that... The, the creator of the deck. I feel that each creator has their own interpretation of what the cards mean. And I appreciate their their insight into what they were trying to convey traditionally, okay? Because this is a traditional rider weight deck with all the same 78 cards in it, but the images are different. So the, the author's um, and artist's portrayal gives us clues. I mean, we have a white stag with wings over the Knight of Pentacles. There's some sort of truth there, some sort of clarity, understanding, courage, uh, divine intervention. I mean, and that's what I'm saying. Each image is how you read cards intuitively and, you know, via the, the image portrayed. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll have to go through and make sure all the cards are separated. It feels like they are. They're not too thin either. It, it feels like there could be two cards there, but there's not. All right. So that's nice. I like this. Again, that's the Heaven and Earth 
tarot deck here. Let's put them all together and give it a quick shuffle. And uh, see how that goes. Well, I've got them every which way, and I'll, I'm not worried about it right now. <clears throat> I'll straighten it up before I use it. But I do want to give it a quick shuffle. Oh, yeah, this is nice. They're very slick, as you can see. Well, maybe you can't see. They're sliding out towards me. So if you're going to do that, make sure you have the deck up closer to the center of your table. All right, so they do shuffle nicely. They're a slightly larger playing card. Not real big, though. I would say about the same size as the um, Light Sears deck. The Light Sears full-size deck. Yeah, they're, they're the same. Same size. Now, these cards are, the Light Sear is a different type of paper, and you can see the difference. Okay. It's more like a cardboardy where this is like a paper. I don't know if that makes any difference, but all right. So I hope you've enjoyed this review um, or unboxing, I guess I should say. I'm excited to be using this deck. Swiftness with the Eight of Wands. Victory with the Six of Wands. Wealth with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, it all makes sense. So beautiful imagery here. And there's my representation. Well, actually, I'm the Emperor Aries. All right. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Heaven and Earth Tarot. Again, it's not a review. It's an unboxing. I'm about to do a review of my last year's um, decks, everything I've used since I bought them. So keep an eye out for that.